Welcome to day four for ArkansasRazorbacks.com here at the Allstate Sugar Bowl. Today it's offense day. As you see, we're shooting in the player interview room here at the media center. The Razorbacks open the day with practice at the Superdome. It's a little rainy outside here in New Orleans. We're expecting rain for the next two days, but no problem inside the Superdome for practice today. Razorbacks will come back here to the media center. We'll have several of the players along with our offensive coordinator, Garrick McGee. They offered these comments. Um, we're having a fantastic um, time. It's a great city. Um, and our preparation has been going well. Um, I talked to our offense about, you know, when we got down here the first night, that this is something, um, a target that we had in mind. Um, we wanted to get ourselves in position first to go after a national championship. Um, you know, that didn't happen to us because of a couple of losses that we had. Um, but we did get ourselves in position to play in one of the best games, um, you know, in the, in the country coming up this week. Um, so our kids are really excited, man, and I'm really proud of them. It's, it all started with our senior leadership and our, you know, our leadership from within our team. I'm really proud of this group. Um, there's no doubt about it. And we're really fortunate and excited to be here in town. Their emotions and them being fired up and jacked up, that'll take care of itself. When we run out there, you know, our crowd will be there, their crowd will be there. That'll take care of itself. We have to concentrate on taking care of business. We have to execute our technique. We have to understand what we've been practicing. We're prepared. Our kids are really working hard, but we have to go out and apply it on game day. It's about a performance on game day. And for us to perform, you have to have your emotions under control. Um, you can't be so fired up that you cannot even execute a play. Um, you know, I, I think it, the emotions will take care of themselves. It's going to be an intense battle. Um, but I, we just have to maintain our composure and execute our technique. It's an amazing experience. You know, first of all, it being the BCS game, there's only a handful of teams that get to experience the BCS bowl game, and we're lucky to be a part of it. And we know Ohio State's been there many times before, so they have the experience. They have, you know, seniors on their offense, defense, and a great head coach in Jim Trestle. So it's going to be a very hard-fought bat hard battle, and I'm, but I'm excited for it. They're a team that's not going to beat their self. Um, everybody seems to be in the, the position that they're supposed to be in every play, and that's something that we need to approach the game knowing that they're not going to beat their self. They're a very disciplined team, so we have to be a very disciplined offense because their defense is ranked great and our offense is ranked great. So it's going to be a clash of the titans. It's going to be a fun game. When I was being recruited, um, it was just about me buying into the system, you know, being able to trust Petrino, you know what I mean? And um, I felt like he had a good plan, a good concept, and, um, and I was behind him. And uh, we've come a long way, and it's all of our hard work has paid off. You know, we had three practices. They've all went well. You know, we've been practicing real hard, you know, trying to get the rest off from that uh, few days off. But uh, I think we look good as a team. You know what I mean? Uh, the timing is still, you know, pr pretty much the same. So um, I think we're looking good for the stage that we're at now. Oh, it's been it's been real fun since I made it to college. And just to be able to play in the Liberty Bowl last year and now playing in the BCS Bowl, that's a big jump. And the rest of the guys, we bought into, you know, what Coach has been telling us so long. And it worked out. We made it to the Sugar Bowl and the temperature is, I mean, the temperature is going to be way different from 10 degrees. So we got to come out and play our best game so far. And, you know, I know that their, their defense is going to come out and play the best game they've played so far. So it's going to be a real good game. Um, having the same five or six guys play the whole year has really helped. We haven't had a lot of injuries, and, and we're going to hope to keep it that way this game. But guys like DeMarcus Love haven't gave up a sack in two years. Uh, you look at things like that, and you feel good standing back there. I mean, he's, he's the best offensive lineman I've seen since I played with Jake Long at Michigan. He's the best tackle in the country. We, I think the, the bowling activity was, was a lot of fun, uh, getting out there and be able to you know, watch guys cut up and, and, and bowling and be competitive kind of at the same time it was a lot of fun. But all the food's great. All the food down here, I've always been great. <laughs> DJ said he scored 230. He's lying. He did not. He was at my lane. He beat me by four. And it was under 150 on both sides. <laughs> Cameron Hayward, he's a great player. Um, you, can, you can see it on film. Not a lot of people were able to block him this year. Uh, and then you look at their secondary. had a lot of interceptions. So uh, what we got to do is not throw them the ball. I mean, you, you kind of get ready to play off the layoff, you know, about a month or so, you know, you kind of get ready to go ahead and, you know, play a game again. You know, it's it's been a while, even though it's, you know, my last game as a senior, you know, you kind of get anxious to play. So, you know, uh, the way we practice, we practice sometimes at a game, right, you know, we'll scrimmage. 
and uh, we, we practice at a high tempo. So, you know, we stay in game shape and, you know, stay ready to go. The Superdome is a nice stadium, man. Uh, we've gotten used to it. I mean, I'm pretty sure our guys that run the ball have gotten used to the feel of the turf and stuff like that. And so, uh, I mean, it's just been a good experience, you know, practicing in the Superdome and knowing that we're going to be able to play. In. You see more guys, you know, taking up on themselves to, you know, practice good, to play good. You know, you see guys, that's, it's already been installed in us the way he coaches us. You know, sometimes it gets hard, it gets tough, but that's the thing that's made us better. You know, we've been over to out tough teams a lot. Sometimes you'll see, you'll watch film and we're just still out toughing guys when other teams are getting tired. So uh, that's one thing we've been able to do is grind it out. You know, uh, everybody's taking up on themselves to, you know, mentally prepare themselves. It's about, you know, mental toughness, and that's one thing we've done. We play good defensive lines every week. I mean, uh, Ohio State has a good D-line. We're not going to just, you know, sit up here and, you know, worry about, you know, one guy. We're going to sit up here and worry about the whole defense because their defense is full of playmakers. Well, that wraps things up from the media center today. The team will have a special dinner tonight, then it's back to the hotel for a quiet New Year's Eve for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Until we see you next year in 2011, I'm Bill Smith for ArkansasRazorbacks.com.